गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम श्रीकांत इंगड़े फ्रॉम जी एच आर आई टी पुणे माई प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन थेरोटिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ रबर बुश इंट्रोडक्शन टू दी रबर बुश दिस प्रेजेंटेशन डील्स विद ऑटोमोटिव रबर बुश दैट इज मेड ऑफ रबर मटीरियल रबर बुश इज अ स्मॉल मैकेनिकल कॉम्पोनेंट विच इज यूज टू इन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्रीज इन व्हीकल्स टू रिड्यूस दी वाइब्रेशन कॉज बाई आई सी इंजिन बेसिकली आई सी इंजिन आर दार्ट ऑफ दीकल इट क्रिएट्स द Uh, by burning of fuels, it creates some. Uh, im, uh, it creates some uh, firing pulses, and due to the explosion of fuel in the in cylinder, some inertia forces and some un unbalanced forces are created. So this various forces create some unbalance, and due to this unbalance, uh, vibration is generated. To damp such unbalanced forces, the attempt made to design a such a bush that will avoid the transmission of forces up to the chassis problem definition the rubber bush uh, basically the purpose of this rubber bush is to uh, hold the engine firmly in its original position uh, this rubber bush uh, isolates the engine from chassis the various unbalanced forces are isolated from the chassis when this small component uh, it is subjected to some working condition after a prolonged period of time the rubber bonding with this sleeve metal sleeve gets tear off the main problem with this rubber bush was in existing model it was having a high stiffness due to the high stiffness the forces were directly transmitted to the chassis causing damage permanent damage to the chassis this is the actual location of rubber bush this is the rubber bush this is a, the black material is a rubber and this is the covering where this uh, bush is connected to the chassis and the engine is mounted on this bush so objective of this dissertation is uh, to calculate the stiffness of rubber and to make the rubber uh, with the optimum amount of rubber basically there are two types of vibrations whenever engine is working there it creates some vibrations so according to the disturbance there are two different types of vibrations that is first one is the free vibration where mass and stiffness is considered of in component and second one is the force vibration whenever any disturbance external difference uh, disturbance is present then it is name as a force vibration so in case of ic engine it is considered as a force vibration so we are talking about the rubber bush so main material which is used to manufacture the rubber bush is a rubber it is harvested uh, mainly from it uh, from a trees in the form of latex or uh, in some some certain trees are there from that we can manufacture rubber so basically rubber is of uh, are of two different types first one is natural rubber second is synthetic rubber natural rubber are manufactured by Uh, using the latex and by processing the latex uh, rubber is a hyper elastic material which uh, can withstand uh, up to uh, very large strain values up to 1000% without any permanent deformation so rubber parts are mostly used as a shock and vibration isolators so we'll come back to the rubber bush so as we have i have discussed about the rubber bush it is a small component mechanical component uh, <clears throat> in some uh, machine element books we refer it as a spring so rubber bush uh, there are basically two different forces which are acting on the rubber bush that is a transverse loading and second is a longitudinal forces uh, it is manufactured by some manufacturing processes like rubber is bonded with the metal sleeves and some uh, bonding materials are tested so the complete rubber bush is manufactured there are three basic types of rubber bush first one is loose rubber bush it is a kind of a cylindrical rubber material only void bush cylindrical metal piece bonded with rubber and it is it is having some voids in between and third one is silent block bush which we are going to study so theoretical analysis basically three different analysis we are going to study first one is a level end 
surface uniform normal shear stress and conical end surface depending on the surfaces of the bush so first is a axial loading this tau is a shear for shear stress g is modulus of rigidity where the gamma is a shear angle and for shear uh, axial shear stress for conical and hyperbolic shape the axial stiffness k value is given by 2 pi g where l1 and l2 are the length of the bush in case of cylindrical bush l1 will be equal to l2 whereas r1 and r2 are the inner and outer radius of the bush g is the shear modulus of modulus of rigidity second is the radial loading this is the formula kr stands for the radial stiffness where the g is again in the shear modulus and k1 is the factor which we are considering for the transverse loading these are the specification of the bushes which are you uh, studied this is the old design these are values of old design and this is the modified design the inner radius was reduced by 1 mm length of sleeve outer sleeve and inner sleeve were changed these values were reduced according to customer need k1 is a form factor which is kept constant after doing the theoretical study by using that stiffness values the old design uh, stiffness of uh, old bush and this is the value of new bush this value we can see we have reduced this value by 263 it is reduced up to 192 and 341 to we have reduced it up to 326 as i have told you earlier that the stiffness were, was very high so directly the forces were transmitted to the chassis so for doing some numerical analysis we have to do some uh, some test work on the rubber material to determine the properties of rubber so these are the two different tests which we have to conduct on the rubber compound first one is uni axial test in which the rubber compound is made in a dumbbell shape you can see this is a dumbbell shape uh, with some length over here so that is a uni axial test which is also referred to as a tensile test it is on this uh, dumbbell is clamped in two different jaws it is like a small utm machine and that utm machine uh, it the tensile stress is provided and elongation of this rubber material is recorded in the machine second one we can see a cylindrical button that is a specimen for the compression test a bit a rubber button is used to determine the compressive strength uh, in case of rubber rubber sh doesn't show the compression strength but it bulges after some uh, some time so these are the two basic test which we have to conduct on a rubber material conclusion for this presentation is rubber is a very hyper elastic material it behaves very non linearly so various tests should be done on bush to predict the behavior of rubber just only theoretical studies are not sufficient so we have to do numerical analysis as well as some experimental studies the main aim was to reduce the axial st stiffness and to damp the forces which we have meet the comfort requirements and the shape of rubber is decided as i have told you uh, in uh, starting the shape is finalized as a hyperbolic shape for the optimum use of material thank you sir.